Okay, so moving on to social media. Um, I feel like a lot of us actually do run our business on social media, so I thought this was really important to go over. Um, there is an exercise in here I want us to do together, so be prepared for this. Um, I challenge everybody to stop liking and start commenting. It is the hardest thing ever to do. I swear to God, it like I'm still trying to train my brain to stop clicking the like button and start to start messaging people or sorry, start commenting to people because when somebody comments, think about it to yourself. When somebody comments and let's say, so let's say you don't know who it is. Um, somebody comments on your picture. Let's say her name's Jessica because I always go with the name Jessica. And Jessica comments on your picture and you're like, who the heck is Jessica? What's the first thing you do? You go and you creep on their page. We all do it. It's just kind of how it is. You're curious. You're like, who's just Je this Jessica girl commenting on my picture that my hair looks cute. Like, I'm going to go, who's she? who is she? What is her hair cute? Like, so that's the same thing that they're going to do when you comment on their stuff. And I always try, it's the same thing. It's training your brain to end whatever comment that you're saying and a question. So let's say I have somebody who, um, they're out on the beach and they have a really cute towel and their bathing suit's really, really cute. I'm going to be like, Hey, Ashley, your bathing suit's so cute. Where did you get it? And that towel, I love it. Where did you get it? And so like, she's going to have to, she's not, obviously not going to have to respond to me, but it's more inclined for her to start that relationship with me and start responding to me. And she's probably going to go on my page and be like, who the heck is this Megan girl? <laughs> and she's going to figure out who I am. But when she goes to my page, because I'm going to be posting daily of things about it works as well and incorporating it into my life and posting about it, she's going to see my post about it works. And she's going to be like, Oh, what the hell is this girl doing? <laughs> what is, why does she have be bellies on her page? And why is one look um, more toned than the other one? Like what the heck? And then she's going to go creep a little bit more. And then she's going to see a post about hair and long hair. And she's going to be like, okay, why does she have long hair on her page? And then she's going to creep a little bit more. And then she's going to see a picture of me with cash holding it up and me with my groceries and being like, I just made 150 bucks and it just paid for my groceries. Grab cash, woohoo! And so it's planting the seeds. It's 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 all like a domino effect by starting it with commenting on their their photos. Um, less liking, more commenting. Um, uh, okay. How to post? Simple posts. Okay, I'm gonna share these with you guys. I'm gonna post these on. Um, <clears throat> I'll do it on T Walk because other people have been asking more me for it too. But these are some examples of simple posts that'll get people um, to respond to you, and it'll also tell you that they are they are a potential customer of yours. I'm gonna give you some examples right now. Okay, number one, you could write these down if you want. Put them into action right away. Don't 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 take my whole list and just copy and paste. Do one question a day. I recommend this one question to get I gave you guys 15 different of them and so you guys can do the other 15 for the month of June but you can start them tomorrow if you want um, okay number one looking for 10 hair models if you're interested drop your email below number two who's trying to grow out their hair number three anyone looking for a part-time job from home four She's getting rid of her back fat, two arrows down. Then in the comments, po post a picture of a result picture of a before and after of somebody who wrapped their back. Um, I recommend the more drastic pictures because people are going to see the, whoa, oh my gosh. And then they're going to reach out to you. And whenever I talk to somebody about, uh, um, let's say the wraps in particular, and they've seen a, one picture, I'll send them a few other ones too. So they see that sometimes it does take a little bit more than others to see results because everybody's body is, is different for them. I saw great results after one. My mom had to wait till three. So I know somebody who had to do six before she had her um, really good results. Uh, number five, could you use an extra $500 a month? Number six, who wants to be a stay-at-home mom? Too quick for me to write, Megs. Sorry. <laughs> I'll slow down. Number six, 
Who wants to be a stay at home mom? Number seven. This is one of my favorites. If there was a pill that could absorb 70% carbs and 30% fats from your meals and only cost $25, would you take it? I posted that and I had a lot of people go, no. Oh, really? Yeah. Like they don't, like I was like, but it's all natural. No. I don't want anything to, I was like, that was the weirdest, weirdest move on. response. <laughs> just ignore it and move on from this. <laughs> That's a good way to know that they're not potentials. <laughs> but maybe there's another product that they're interested in that's not like a pill form. Some people don't like pills and that may be the case. And maybe they want something like the greens or something like that. Um, take, a, take a peek below, I dare you with an arrow down and those like big wide eyes, and maybe even like a wink face. And then in the comments, post a picture of results. I saw that on somebody else's and I was like, oh, what's going on? Is she pregnant? Oh my God, did she get like a new car? And then I clicked it and I was like, here's a result picture? <laughs> like I was expecting like crazy and then I was like, Shoot, it worked for me because I was like, I want to know what's going on. So I'm sure if I thought that, other people are going to think the same thing to figure out, like, well, I'm curious, what is it? Um, I'm looking for new gyms. What gym do you go to? Who takes vitamins? Which ones? Let's talk about sleep. Does anyone have trouble sleeping? Okay, mommies. Who needs more energy? I like that one. Because a lot of moms would be like, I do, oh my God, la, la. Who uses essential oils? Or you can say, what's your favorite essential oil? So these are all that I give you 15 so you guys can come up with some more on your own. But those are, these are some good examples for you guys to know of what type of posts are attractive posts to allow you to get feedback and people um, that never, ever, 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 ever say comment below or tag below or anything like that. I've learned this recently that Facebook's new algorithm, the newest form of it that just happened, I think it was March that happened. Um, it'll flag your post immediately when they see the word tag or comment and less people will see it tag or comment, take it out of your vocabulary. And that's why I use like drop your email below, or I'll use like the little fingers that go like, like down or um, I'll say, use your favorite emoji. Show me your favorite emojis. Different ways of saying like comment below besides saying comment below. So don't use comment below or tag the person below or anything like that. Like an open-ended question. Yes. Yes. Yep. So with these products, I'm going to do really fast of what they are. So looking for 10 hair models, obviously hair, skin, nails would be what it would be for. Who's trying to grow out their hair? Hair, skin, and nails for that. Anyone looking for a part-time job? Potential distributors right there. Um, looking to get rid of their back fat? Possibly de um, a defining gel or even the wraps. Um, who could use an extra $500 a month? De potential distributors. Who wants to stay be a stay-at-home mom? Potential distributors. If there was a pill that could absorb the carbs and the fat? Fat fighters. Sneak peek below, I dare you. And whatever results it is, that would pertain to whatever you know, if let's say it's um, stretch mark cream, you do a result picture of, obviously that'd be the stretch mark. Um, looking for new gyms, what gym do you go to? I love this one because people who are gonna be going to the gyms are people who are motivated to change 
their appearance in, in one way or another. They have already taken the step to pay a gym or go to a gym or take the time to go to a gym. So I always recommend if somebody's at the gym using the thermo fit. 100%. And obviously you can come up with an actual specific um, pl plan for them and come up with like a group of products that'll help them. But Thermofit, like straight up, if you know someone goes to the gym, just message them and be like, Hey, I know you're already going to the gym, but how would you like to, um, to shave off an extra 275 calories on top of what you're already doing at the gym by just taking one pill <laughs> done. <laughs> like you never know if somebody's gonna be wanting to do that. I've been using Thermofit a lot lately and it gives you like this extra burst of energy. So I love that. So some people use it as like a pre-workout type thing. So love, love, love that. Um, who takes vitamins? Which ones? Obviously that's an indication of you um, substituting vitamins for our vitamin or their vitamins for our vitamin brand. Let's talk about sleep. Who um, Does anyone have trouble sleeping. There's a di few different products that help with this. Um, obviously the lavender essential oils will help. Um, I have heard that new you will help with that too. Um, so there's other products that'll help with, um, sleeping. Okay. Mommy who needs more energies, energy, uh, energy drinks obviously is great. Greens are great. I recommend actually mixing and en the energy drink and the greens together. Don't put it in a water bottle and shake it. The carbonation from the energy drinks will make it explode. But if you just make your greens first and then pour your energy drink in it, I love the like extra little like burst of energy you get from it. But while you're getting your eight servings of fruits and vegetables and who uses essential oils, obviously essential oils, all of our essential oils are awesome. Um, I've been using our lemon for cleaning my um, granite countertops and cleaning stainless steel um, appliances. And I've been using lavender. I made a lavender spray for our sheets and that's helped Caden and I sleep better. And, um, tea tree oil. I use that for like pimples. If you put a little bit of pimple or put a little bit of tea tree oil over your pimples, it'll dry it up and it'll go away quicker. And, you um, tea tree oil for your hair too. I've heard of this lately. I, I don't really know how it really works, but I've heard that you can use it for your hair. Some, something about the, um, I, I used to use it. It, uh, it kind of, I guess when you have a lot of hair like me, it kind of makes your scalp feel like it's breathing. Like it, it just it opens it feels it up. really minty. Yeah. It feels like it's just, it just opens up like, you know, the hair follicles and it helps. I've help. heard, I've heard people using it and then putting it in their conditioner and having it like as, or even making like a, a spritz spray. Are like, you talking about tea tree oil? Yeah. Yeah. That's also one of the number one things they recommend to put in your kid's hair, like in shampoo to prevent lice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Boom. Post right there. Because <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah. But that's a great opportunity to Im 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 introduce that to people because you never know. I mean, I mean, well, school's about to be out, but hey, a lot of kids play together during the summertime, so you want to prevent lice in that way as well. Yeah. Plus, there's a lot of people that have kids starting school for the first time this upcoming year. That is so true. New so parents. <laughs> okay, so, um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. See comments, looking comments. Oh, um, if anyone ever likes or comments on any of your posts, whether it's it works related or not, it works related, message them about our business. Um, message them about a product, message them about maybe the potential of being a distributor, because if they're seeing your non, it works related posts, they're seeing your other posts as well, whether they're on your page and actually scrolling down or whether it's just popping up on your new, their newsfeed, they're seeing them because of the Facebook algorithm. So I recommend going back, go back through your posts and whoever commented and liked on any pictures, go and message them about our our products and just it's simple. Keep everything simple. I've realized that the more simple it is, the more results I'm seeing. So I've been trying really hard to start to be doing more live videos and keeping it strictly to live videos. It takes a little bit longer, but it's m so worth it. All you have to do is go to your video camera on your, do the video camera, not the actual like video camera in messenger. Use like the camera on your phone. And go in there and just be like, hey, Jessica, I know that you were talking about wanting to use our stretch mark cream. And right now we're running our 40% off special. I wanted to see if you wanted to get interested. Boom. Done. Like you, you let her know we have it. She already wanted it. And 
you're trying to seal the deal with her. And if she says no, that's okay. Set up another time for you that you're gonna follow up with her. Put her on your calendar, that's the main thing. If you don't have a calendar, get a calendar. And if you don't have the money to get a calendar, that's okay. Make yourself a calendar, make the little draw, draw it out. I recommend having it <clears throat> um, like on a piece of paper because you're gonna be writing a lot of people because you're gonna be reaching out to a lot of people. Um, so if somebody says no or not right now, that's fine. Make a follow-up date of when you're going to talk to them a week out. Say, that's fine. Um, but maybe they say like money's tight right now. Be like, that's okay. Um, I understand. <clears throat> How about I reach out to you in about two weeks and we'll, um, reconvene to see if you'll be ready then for your stretch mark cream. I can't wait to see your results. And then if she says no, then say, okay, what day is best for you? But I always try to give them a date first so that there's no opportunity for them to be like, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Like I say, no, like here's the day I'll reach out to you and just make sure that you follow up on that day. That's why the calendar is important for you to just look at in the morning, look at it and be like, okay, on Thursday, I have Ashley, Jessica, and Francine to reach out to. I got to reach out to them. If you're at lunch on your work break, reach out to them. Um, sorry, something just popped up on my computer. Uh, okay, a new thing that I'm gonna be starting to do is tagging your friends and family in your post. Let them know ahead of time first, obviously ask them. But let's say, um, like I have a really good friend that's up in Washington and she has a lot of, um, a lot of uh, friends and fa friends that are up there as well that I think would be interested in this opportunity, this business. So every time I'm going to be doing a, a opportunity post, so something that's talking about like the business part of it, not more so products, but the business, um, I'm going to ask her ahead of time and say, Hey, Emily, can I, is it okay if I tag you in a few of my posts? Um, because I really want to open up my market and I really do think there's some of your friends may be interested in this opportunity as well for making an extra $500 a month. And when you tag somebody in your post, it then posts on their wall and then when people are seeing that their news feed of their wall then they're going to see that post <clears throat> make sure that um you tag them though so that it'll go on their wall um okay past present and future <clears throat> this is something i learned a while ago and if you're doing a life post which is something that you are how the business is changing your life, how it's relating to your life, how it could be so small as, um, let's say gas. I'm going to use gas as the example and I'll give you an, um, a full example of what you can say. Um, past, present and future, write this down. I remember when I can now, I can't wait. So gas is my example. I remember when I had to check my bank account in the parking lot at Sunco every time I had to go get gas. It was humiliating that people were honking their horn behind me and I had to wait to check my bank account to make sure I had enough money to fill up my tank. I can now go get gas without having to check my bank account and fill up my entire tank without having to hear those honks anymore. I can't wait to help others with this business to be able to fill up their tank and not have to check their bank account also. If this is you, text gas to 904-504 and the rest of my number. So in that post, I created a motion. Whether or not maybe that was you in the past, maybe it's you now. You're gonna feel that like that connection to me of damn, I've been there. I've done that. You know, before I had to go get groceries, I've looked at my bank account. So they're going to be related, uh, relatable to you. Then you're talking about how I remember having those feelings. And now with being in this business, I'm able to not have to check my bank account and hear those honks behind me and, and be like, 
it's okay, hold on, I'm sorry. You know, and you can't wait to help others as well with that. So I remember when I can now, I can't wait. I promise you, you can change any situation into a life post with those three words and you will start getting more potential distributors because you're showing an emotion, you're being relatable and you're showing how you struggled before. You are now being less struggling and how you're excited to be able to help people um, less struggle in the future as well. So if, you, if that's one thing that you can take from this, take that, this whole training. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is the search bar. Um, I recommend going through your, fa your phone, deleting all of your pictures that has to do with It Works, and use the search bar from now on. I had like over 2,000 pictures of It Works on my, my phone, whether it's result pictures, product pictures, you know, whatever it was, and I was like, oh my, I have to clear up my space. My phone is like dying all the time. And when I realized that you can actually just, in the search bar on Facebook, all you have to do is click or type in it works and then whatever product you're looking for. So it works fat fighters. And there'll be tons and tons and tons of pictures and posts and things. Don't ever copy and paste somebody else's post like you wanna make your own. But you can use those as a reference of how to make a post. Or if there's a picture that you wanna use, use the picture and then edit it a little bit. Make a border around it. If you want to use Insta Size, which is that's the one that I use for making the white border around my pictures, it's a free app. Um, you can use Insta Size. It just quickly, it takes like 0.2 seconds. You just upload it in the app and you just go whoop and you save it and it's done. It's so simple. Um, but when you when you change the picture just a little bit, then Facebook will see it as a new JPEG instead of the same JPEG, and then more people will see um, your picture post because of the new Facebook algorithm. Okay, I already said this, but no more copying. Don't copy somebody else's post and just copy, paste, copy, paste. Take a few minutes and show an emotion in your post. Um, the more that you show an emotion, the more you show a feeling, um, you'll see more results. So take a minute and really think about what you want to talk about and who you want to talk to. So if you're talking about a single mom, um, I'm a single mom. So the things that I've struggled with as a single mom, that's what I want to talk about. You know, there has been nights where I cry myself to sleep because I don't even know why I'm crying, but I'm just so tired and I'm just so overwhelmed. And like, those are the things that I want to talk about because me as a single mom, I know that there's another single mom out there feeling that way. You know, before I started this business, I was living with my parents and I drove me crazy living with my parents because I love my mom to death, but we have the same exact personality and we just like bumped heads. And I hated the fact that my relationship with my mom was going down the drain and I couldn't do anything about it because I couldn't afford getting my own place. And so then after this business, I was then able to move out of my house, get a three bedroom place at the time with a backyard and everything was so like the, the idea of it was always in my head of what I wanted and I didn't know how to do it until this business showed me that I could believe back in myself and I could get those things that I wanted, but I had to work for it. I had to do it. Um, so when you're doing a post, use the emotion, take a minute, um, and think about who you're talking to and show your struggles a little bit. You know, if, if you have had struggles, Talk about them just a little bit. Obviously, don't don't let everyone know about your, your struggles because, you know, not everybody wants to know everything. But if you've been there and if you've had to do that struggle, somebody else has probably been in there also. But always bring it back to how now you're able to do something else positive. Like, don't just say, oh, I hate the fact that I had to not get groceries this week or, you know, say, you know, I hated the fact that I... Um, I remember when I hated the fact that I couldn't buy groceries and now I, today I just was able to spend $75 at a farmer's market and buy the organics and buy the, my son wanted four, four <laughs> cases of strawberries. So I can say yes. And I'm so excited to be able to help other, um, other, others pay for their groceries in cash. Like that was another, I remember when I can now, I can't wait. Um, Okay, so 
I'm getting excited here. <laughs> um, talk about product details. So when you're talking about, let's say you're talking about um, your fat fighters. I did this for a little while and I was seeing some really good results from it. So in a post, I would say, um, actually, no, I'm going to use ThermoFit. Uh, ThermoFit, I was doing my 30 day challenge, 5k a day for 30 days. And every time I use my ThermoFit and in my ThermoFit post, I would say something about like, um, got my sneakers, got my earphones, got my son, got my dog, got my ThermoFit ready to go for my 5k. And I would put a little star by the, the thermo fit and then underneath the whole post, like in the same status, but underneath I would put a star again. And then I would say what thermo fit was. Thermo fit is naturally based, um, supplement that can, that gives, that helps you burn an additional 275 calories, um, by just taking the pills. Like it's so simple, but people saw just the top part of it. And then if they were to click the read more then they saw the second part of it. And so then the people who saw the read more, those are the people who are interested, like, what is she talking about? Or they want to know a little bit more about what I'm doing. So that's something that you can do if you want. These are all just ideas, take them, don't take them, but I recommend using them. Um, giveaways. If you have a, a wrap, one wrap, if you have one wrap at your house right now, this week, this weekend, tomorrow's great because tomorrow's payday for a lot of people, do a giveaway. But do a giveaway to where they have to do something in return. So say um, I'm doing a giveaway Friday night at 9 o'clock and announce it to everybody. And then a live giveaway to, um, Friday at 9 o'clock and say if you want an invite, um, drop three friends names below and or uh yeah drop three friends names below and you'll be invited to the live event and then obviously make sure you tell those like go reach out to those three people and say hey i'm doing my live video i'm gonna be giving away a free skinny wrap it helps tighten tone and firm in 45 minutes anywhere from the neck down i'm so excited just tune in on my page at nine o'clock on friday night and when you are, you're asking for them to do something, you're asking for them to do the work for you, for you to tag, for them to tag people and for them to, um, opening up a new market for you, basically. Like, so if Jessica went and tagged three different people, that's three different people that you probably didn't even know before. And those are three different potentials that you now have. And Jessica is going to help you seal the deal already with those three people because Jessica's already interested. So she's going to probably tell those other three people, hey, there's these skinny wraps. I don't really know what they're all about, but I keep seeing all these before and after pictures on Megan's profile. Megan's newsfeed. And I'm really curious and I really want to try one. I really want one free. So tune in maybe you'll get one too or something like that. She's going to, she's going to help you seal the deal already. Um, tutorials, tutorials are great to do on, um, on Facebook as well. So like Emily is really good at tutorials. She like makes the bath bombs. She makes, she cleans, um, her makeup brushes. So showing how to use our products in different ways. Shoot. If you want to use our cleanse our cleanser and shave your legs on live, that's psh, Maybe you could do that if you want. Um, I recommend, I told this to you guys, to you guys the other day, but I'm going to say it again, um, a bacon and fat fighters one. For some reason, everyone loves bacon. So go in and tag or title your live video, I love bacon or everyone loves bacon. And then like have a, have bacon and be like, I love bacon. It's so good, but I'm so glad I have my fat fighters and do a fat fighters demonstration. Um, if you don't know what a fat diamond fat fighters demonstration is go on my YouTube channel. Um, and you can see, I did one on there so you can see it. Okay. Add to your network. I'm gonna have to go a little bit faster because we're running out of time. Add to your network daily. Go, <laughs> I'm gonna be blunt right here. Get over yourself and just start adding random people. That's how you do it. Everyone keeps messaging me saying, how do I add new people? Just add them. Like if it's somebody who you think would be great in your business, if it's somebody that I'm looking for more toward like business, I spend a little bit more time working on and making sure that that's the type of person I want to like hang out with. If you can't hang out with them, then they're probably not good for your business. Um, but if it's somebody who I'm looking for products stuff like that, literally if there's somebody who I, I like, um, already like as a friend or whatever, I'm going to go on their page and their friends. And I'm going to go like, or add, 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 add. I'm going to add all their friends. If it's somebody, a loyal customer of mine, maybe I'm going to go on their, their page and I'm going to go add, 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 and add all their friends. And I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to ask my loyal customer, Hey, can you, um, post your result pictures and tag me in them? Um, I'm really, I really want to open up my network a little bit more. And if you do that, if, if I, um, if four people, order through you, through me, 
because of you, I'm going to give you a free product. That has opened up a whole new world for you. So, um, uh, la, la, okay, back to my notes. Sorry, I know people, if you see one of those videos. Oh, here's a side note. I've been doing this lately. If you see one of those videos, like the video ads that where it's like 3 million people viewed it and 2,000 people commented, go on the comments and add the people who you have the similar responses to of the video. So if it's like a picture of, or it's a video of a kid, little kid fishing and he fell in the water and he was so cute about it and was, I don't know, or he was dancing on a boat and he was cute about it. And like my response would be like, Oh my God, that's so cute. Or my response would be like, where the heck was his life best? Or, you know, so if people are responding, those things, those are the people who I'm going to go and add because we have similar thought, thought processes. Um, go live, go live. I can't say it enough. Go live. It's scary at first. I still get a little bit scared and when I do them, but once you start talking, um, it, it's fine. Just, just do it. Um, okay. So here's my challenge to everybody. After doing your live video and talking about the products, try doing that first. This is the second part of it. This is what you want to say in a post. I'm going for a really big goal this month. Who would be interested in posting a status for me and in return receive a free product? I'm going for a really big goal this month. Who would be interested in posting a status for me and in return receiving a free product? Okay, so then anyone who said yes or liked on that post, and you want to post that on like a Thursday, a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday is the best time to post that. If more toward the end of the week, more people are on Facebook, sometime around in the evening is really good, or even a Sunday is good because people are scrolling right before the Mondays are coming up. Um, and the evenings are good because people are going to be home more. So then when they like or comment, then you say, you message them. Um, underneath that they comment, you say, I'll PM you. I'll PM you. So after you say, I'll PM you, go and message them right away. That's your way of keeping track of who you've talked to. So after you've said, I PM you, then you go to the personal message and you say, okay, here's the deal. You'll post this status for me, then tag it, no, oh, sorry, then tag me in it, then post these results in the comments. Okay, so here's the deal. You'll post the status for me, then tag me in it, then post these results in the comments. Everyone, this is, this is like still the part of it. Everyone who will be commenting and liking I will be messaging them If I sign one loyal customer you get a free wrap If I sign five loyal customers you'll receive a free product that's under $30. So by doing this, this opens up a whole nother network. Because let's say you have five people who comment under it. I'm sure you probably have more than that, but five people. So. There's Jessica. Jessica comments said, yeah, I'll, I'm on a free product. So Jessica goes and she puts, puts it on her page. And now 
she tagged you in it. So wh whoever comments or likes on that post that she put it on her page, you're going to see, you're going to get a notification for it. So your phone's going to be blowing up. But um, let's say Jessica went and then five people commented under Jessica. So now you have five more people under Jessica. Let's say Ashley over here commented. You have five more people under Jessica or Ashley. Then you have Francine, five more under Francine. And it, you might even get more than five, but let's say all five that you started with who comment yes, that we can post something on their page. Let's say all of them had five people who commented on the posts that we give them. That's five, 10, 15, 20, 25 new potentials that they brought to you. So they did all the work. And then now we, our job, our responsibility is going and reaching out to those people. Um, Okay, there's, I want to give you guys the actual post of what you'll give to those, those um, people who said yes, but I have one minute, it's going to time me out again, so I hate to do it, but to be continued, <laughs> you want this part though, because then this is what you'll need to get and give to the person who said yes, I will post something on my wall. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this one and I'm going to send you guys, this will be the last one and it's, I'm almost done too, but um. I'll message you guys the Zoom code.